Hello viewers. Welcome to the YouTube channel. In this video we will discuss class 11 or first PUC physics chapter 2, that is examples on motion in a straight line. Class 3. From basic to advanced level, for board, JEE, KCET, and NET. Do support watch till end, don't forget to share, subscribe the channel. First chapter that is units and measurement. That video link is given in description, don't miss it. Let's start. 1. In which of the following examples of motion, can the body be considered approximately a point object? A. A railway carriage moving without jerks between two stations. B. A monkey sitting on top of a man cycling smoothly on a circular track. C. A spinning cricket ball that turns sharply on hitting the ground. D. A tumbling beaker that has slipped off the edge of a table. Answer A and B. Here. In A. The size of a carriage is very small as compared to the distance between two stations. Therefore, the carriage can be treated as a point-sized object. In B. The size of a monkey is very small as compared to the size of a circular track. Therefore, the monkey can be considered as a point-sized object on the track. In C. The size of a spinning cricket ball is comparable to the distance through which it turns sharply on hitting the ground. Hence, the cricket ball cannot be considered as a point object. In D. The size of a beaker is comparable to the height of the table from which it slipped. Hence, the beaker cannot be considered as a point object. Next. 2. A woman starts from her home at 9 a.m., walks with a speed of 5 km per hour on a straight road up to her office to 0.5 km away, stays at the office up to 5 p.m., and returns home by an auto with a speed of 25 km per hour. Choose suitable scales and plot the XD graph of her motion. Answer Woman starts from home at 9 a.m., Walk with a speed of 5 km per hour. Then the distance between her office and home is equal to 2.5 km. Therefore, time taken is equal to distance by speed. That is equal to 2.5 by 5. Which gives 0.5 hour. That is 30 minutes. Therefore a woman reach her office in 30 minutes. That is at 9.30 a.m. Next. Evening she left at 5 p.m. It is given that she covers the same distance in the evening by an auto. Now, speed of the auto is equal to 25 km per hour. Therefore, time taken is equal to distance by speed. That is equal to 2.5 by 25 is equal to 0 0.1 hours. That is 6 minutes. Therefore a woman while returning by auto she took 6 minutes. That is she reached home at 5.06 pm, as shown in graph. Next. 3. A drunkard walking in a narrow lane takes 5 steps forward and 3 steps backward, followed again by 5 steps forward and 3 steps backward and so on. Each step is one meter long and requires one second. Plot the XD graph of his motion. Determine graphically and otherwise how long the drunkard takes to fall in a pit 13 meters away from the start. Answer. Distance covered with one step is equal to one meter. Time taken is equal to one second. Time taken to move first 5 meter forward is equal to 5 second. Time taken to move 3 meter backward is equal to 3 second. So, 
net distance covered is equal to 5 minus 3 is equal to 2 meter. Therefore, net time taken to cover 2 meter is equal to 8 second. That is, drunkard covers 2 meter in 8 second. Drunkard covered 4 meter in 16 second. Drunkard covered 6 meter in 24 second. Drunkard covered 8 meter in 32 second. In the next 5 second, the drunkard will cover a distance of 5 meter and a total distance of 13 meter and falls into the pit. Net time taken by the drunkard to cover 13 meter is equal to 32 plus 5 equals 37 seconds. Next. 4. A jet airplane traveling at the speed of 500 km per hour ejects its products of combustion at the speed of 1500 km per hour relative to the jet plane. What is the speed of the latter with respect to an observer on ground? Answer. Speed of the jet airplane, VJET is equal to 500 km per hour. Relative speed of its products of combustion with respect to the plane, we smoke is equal to minus 1500 km per hour. Because the combusted smoke in opposite direction we use negative. Speed of its products of combustion with respect to the ground is equal to V dash smoke relative speed of its products of combustion with respect to the airplane. Therefore, V smoke is equal to V dash smoke minus V jet. Substituting values, V get 1500 is equal to V dash smoke minus 500. That is, V dash smoke is equal to minus 1000 km per hour. The negative sign indicates that the direction of its products of combustion is opposite to the direction of motion of the jet airplane. Next. 5. A car moving along a straight highway with a speed of 126 km per hour is brought to a stop within a distance of 200 meter. What is the retardation of the car, assumed uniform, and how long does it take for the car to stop? Answer. Initial velocity of the car, u, or v0 is equal to 126 km per hour on converting from km per hour to meter per second. That is equal to 35 meter per second. Final velocity of the car, v is equal to 0. Distance covered by the car before coming to rest, s or x is equal to 200 meter. Retardation produced in the car is equal to A. From third equation of motion, A can be calculated as V square is equal to V naught square plus 2 AX. On equating, V square minus V naught square is equal to 2 AX. Substitute values. 0 square minus 35 square is equal to 2 into A into 200. Therefore, A is equal to minus 35 into 35, divided by 400. That is equal to minus 1225 by 400. Therefore, A is equal to minus 3.06 meter per second. From first equation of motion, time, T, taken by the car to stop can be obtained as V is equal to U plus A. T. Therefore, T is equal to V minus U by A. We get T is equal to 0 minus 35 by minus 3.06. Therefore, time is equal to 11.44 seconds. Next. 6. A wheel of radius 1 meter rolls forward half a revolution on a horizontal ground. The magnitude of the displacement of the point of the wheel initially in contact with the ground is 2 pi root 2 x root pi square plus 4 pi answer 
horizontal distance covered by the wheel in half revolution pi r. So, the displacement of the point which was initially in contact with ground is equal to a into a dash is equal to root pi r square plus 2 r square that is equal to r into root pi square plus 4 where r is equal to 1. Therefore answer is root pi square plus 4. Next 7. In one-dimensional motion, instantaneous speed v satisfies 0 lesser than or equal to v, v lesser than or equal to v naught. Answer. The maximum distance covered in time t is v naught t. Therefore, for the object having one-dimensional motion, the displacement x in time t satisfies minus v naught t lesser than x x lesser than v naught t. Next. 8. Speed of 72 km per hour in the same direction, with A ahead of B. The driver of B decides to overtake A and accelerates by 1 m per second square. If after 50 second, the guard of B just brushes past the driver of A, what was the original distance between them? Answer. Consider train A. For train A, initial velocity u is equal to 72 km per hour. To convert km per hour into meter per second, just multiply with 5 by 18. That is 72 into 5 by 18. That is equal to 20 meter per second. Now, time t is equal to 50 seconds and acceleration e 1 is equal to 0 since it is moving with a uniform velocity from second equation of motion distance s1 covered by train a can be obtained as s1 is equal to ut plus half a 1t square substitute values in above equation we get S1 is equal to 20 into 50, plus 1 by 2 into 0 into 50 square. We get S1 is equal to 20 into 50, plus 0. Therefore, S1 is equal to 1000 meter. For train B, initial velocity U is equal to 72 kilometers per hour is equal to 20 meters per second. Acceleration, A2 is equal to 1 meter per second square. Time, T is equal to 50 second. From second equation of motion, distance S2 covered by train A can be obtained as S2 is equal to UT plus half A 1T square. S2 is equal to 20 into 50, plus 1 by 2 into 1 into 50 square. We get S2 is equal to 20 into 50, plus 1250. That is, S2 is equal to 1000 plus 1250 meter. Therefore, S2 is equal to 2250 meter. Hence, the original distance between the driver of train A and the guard of train B is equal to 2250 minus 1000. That is equal to 1250 meter is answer. Next. 9. Figure shows the xt plot of one-dimensional motion of a particle. Is it correct to say from the graph that the particle moves in a straight line for t lesser than 0, and on a parabolic path for t greater than 0? If not, suggest a suitable physical context for this graph. Answer. No. The xt graph of a particle moving in a straight line for t lesser than 0 and on a parabolic path for t greater than 0 cannot be shown as the given graph. This is because the given particle does not follow the trajectory of path followed by the particle as t is equal to 0, x is equal to 0. 
A physical situation that resembles the above graph is of a freely falling body held for some time at a height. Next. 10. Speeding away in the same direction with a speed of 192 km per hour. If the muzzle speed of the bullet is 150 meters per second, with what speed does the bullet hit the thief's car? Note, obtain that speed which is relevant for damaging the thief's car. Answer. Speed of the police van, VP is equal to 30 km per hour. On converting into meter per second we get 8.33 meter per second. Muzzle speed of the bullet, BB is equal to 150 meter per second. Speed of the thief's car, BT is equal to 192 kilometers per hour. That is equal to 53.33 meter per second. Since the bullet is fired from a moving van, its resultant speed can be obtained as 150 plus 8.33 is equal to 158.33 meter per second. Since both the vehicles are moving in the same direction, the velocity with which the bullet hits the thief's car can be obtained as VBT is equal to VB minus VT. That is equal to 158.33 minus 53.33. We get answer is 105 meter per second. This ends the second chapter. For more just join telegram channel for any doubt, link is in description. So don't forget to subscribe the channel for more updates.